Hi guys, welcome to the Exploity video series. I hope you have already installed the Exploity framework on your system. Because in today's video, I'm going to guide you through what are the modes of usage and what are the basic commands that you need to know in order to run the framework. So starting with the first mode of usage, the interactive mode. So for that, simply type in Exploity on your terminal and hit enter. So that would greet you with the exploity banner, which basically means you are inside the interactive mode. So as for all the tools and frameworks, you generally start out by typing help, we'll do the same. So help, help basically gives us all the documented commands. So we'll look into each command, starting with the list command. So type in list, hit enter. So the list basically gives us the list of plugins that are part of the framework. It gives us all the plugin IDs and the summary relating to each plugin ID. So now I'm going to run the exploit in super user mode. Since for the demonstration purposes, the plugin I'm going to execute needs super user privileges. So the next command I'm going to tell you about is the run command. So the run command is basically used to execute a plugin. So for that, you simply type in run the plugin ID, which is ble.generic.scan in this case, and hit enter. So since this is a generic BLE, scan, BLE scanner, it does not need any arguments as such. So we'll wait for a few seconds here. So yeah, the plugin has passed and it has also spotted my Amazon Echo. So now we are going to look into something which is called the specific help. So for that, you type in run the plugin ID hyphen H or double hyphen help. So before I get into this, I want to specify the example plugin that I'm using here. It is called cope.generic.sample. So this example plugin would help you understand the code that is you know, required to write a plugin and basically then you can write your own plugins as well. So we'll look into that deeper when we discuss how you can contribute and how you can write your own plugins to the exploity framework. So now let's look at the output of this. So when we uh, run specific help for each plugin, it basically gives us a brief summary of that plugin and lists out all the optional and the mandatory arguments that are required to run the plugin. So moving on. Now I'll tell you what a plugin ID is. So plugin ID, so basically a plugin could be anything uh, for used for recon or an exploitation or for analysis purposes. So the plugin ID is very specifically designed for the framework. So the first part, it is divided into three parts. So the first part consists of the technology. The second part consists of the target device or the product or the vendor. The third part is something that is defined by the author. So here, as we can see, BL is the technology. Since it is a generic plugin, generic and fuzzcare, this is defined by the author. So you can see since all these were generic plugins and this one is specific to a target. So the author has used tap lock here. So now moving on. So the next command we're going to see is the history command. So the history command is used to just see all the activities that you have done in the framework. So a spe uh, something to tell you here, uh, there is tab assistance for all the arguments and the commands. So when you're running a command, you can simply type in and use tab for, for all the assistance that you need. So heading on. The last command is the exit or the quit command which is basically used to head out of the framework. So that was interactive mode for you. Moving further is the command line mode. 
So the tool can be run using command line arguments. So this is more suitable in case you are going for, uh, you know, using these test cases for your scripting or automation as a part of your testing. So yeah, the command line mode is more suitable in that case. So you simply type in exploity and yeah, all the arguments and the commands remain the same as I told you before in the interactive mode. So you type in exploity. So I'll type here list, for example. So it would give the list. Then I'll do the same. Then I'll show you the same BLE plugin, exploity run BLE so here I'm using the uh, BLE plugin that I showed you before in the interactive mode we'll again wait for a few seconds so yeah this has again spotted my echo and the plugin has passed so that was a command line mode for you. So I hope you got uh, what are the basic modes of usage and the basic commands that you need to know. So now you can head on yourself and try out the framework. I think I gave you the little push you need. So you can now uh, head on to the website, which is www.exploity.io to check out all the hardware that I'm going to show you in the coming videos that is used with some of the plugins and for the documentation you can refer to exploity.readthedocs.io for all the latest news and updates you can follow us on facebook twitter linkedin and youtube so that was it for this video see you in the next thank you